In this video, we discuss a classical synchronization problem, the dining philosophers. In the problem, five philosophers are sitting around a table. They do only two things, either think or eat. They have no interactions with each other. And uh, when a philosopher eats, uh, so you need to acquire two chopsticks and the chopsticks are shared so that means we can have two philosophers competing for the same chopstick so we have a race conditions and the chopsticks are shared resources or critical resources so the because of the race condition, this is a synchronization problem. And here's a simple solution to it. We can use a semaphore to protect a chopstick. A philosopher picks up the left chopstick and then the right. But this solution may lead to a deadlock because every philosopher may want to eat at the same time. And each philosopher has acquired the left chopstick and waiting for the right one. So nobody can acquire a right chopstick. So the system is in deadlock and nobody can proceed to it. Now, the following is a solution without deadlock presented by your textbook. The idea is to use an array state to keep track of whether a philosopher is in one of the three states eating, thinking, or hungry. Uh, note that we have to use a mutex to lock the operation of setting or checking state. That means when one philosopher is changing the state, no other philosopher is allowed to change or read the state. So philosopher I can set her state to eating only if her two labors are not eating. That is, state I minus one, mode five is not eating, and state I plus 1, mode 5 is not eating. Philosopher I uses semaphore S, uh, there's a binary semaphore, to delay herself is if she is hungry but is unable to acquire the chopsticks. Uh, this is the uh, algorithm. That's what philosopher I has to do. So we define left to be i minus 1 mode 5, right i plus 1 mode 5, and uh, state is an array to keep track of everyone's state. S5, another array, semaphore array, starting with value 0. And mutex is a binary semaphore initialized to 1. So this is philosopher I. Uh, it, she is in an infinite loop. Uh, so she thinks and when she is hungry she will invoke pick up to acquire chopsticks. So this is pick up. First she acquires the lock, mutex. And then she can set her state to a hungry, uh, but she need to uh, check to test whether her adjacent neighbors are eating. So here's the test. Uh, so if a state is equal to hungry, and state left is not eating, and state right is not eating, that means uh, her neighbors are not eating. Then uh, she can set her state to eating and signal 
per semaphore SI. So SI will be incremented to 1. When test returns to pick up she releases uh, the log mutex and then do a wait on SI. But SI has been incremented to 1. So simply this decrements it back to 0. But uh, it won't be blocked. So uh, she has picked up the chopstick successfully and returned to here and it. After that, uh, she put down the chopsticks uh, and reset the state. Now, on the other hand, uh, when she does the test, if one of her labor is eating, okay, then she cannot execute these two statements. That means uh, the signal SI won't be executed and she won't set her state to eating. Right? When the she returns to uh, here, weight SI, SI is zero, so it should be blocked uh, until somebody puts down the chopstick okay, and do a test, uh, say left or right, okay, and signal her to awaken her and set her state to eating, then she can proceed. Now let's consider an example to elaborate uh, this concept. Uh, now suppose we have uh, five philosophers named P0, P1, P2, P3, P4 and at the beginning their states are all thinking T, 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 T representing thinking and the semaphore values are all zero. Now suppose P2 wants to eat, so pick up 2 is invoked. So we have uh, pick up 2 here. Okay. Uh, so the state is set to hungry. Okay. And then so that's a test 2 uh, comes to here. And because the labors the adjacent labors are not in eating state. So she can set herself to uh, eating. The E here represents eating. And the semaphore, uh, after this signaled, it becomes 1. Okay. So when it returns, pick up, uh, there's a weight. You decrement uh, it to zero again, and the state has been set to uh, e to eating. So that means uh, it returns, and she can eat. Uh, now suppose P three wants to eat. So again, uh, P pick up three is invoked, and uh, she can set her state to hungry. But when she does the test, the labor is eating. Okay. The left labor is eating, so these two statements won't be executed. So that means that this is still zero. When it returns, and she so does the weight here, she is blocked. Okay. Weight as i as free is zero, so uh, she is blocked. She cannot proceed until p two has finished eating. When p two has finished eating, she will do a put down, okay. and uh, put down. She will set the state back to thinking, and do a test left and test right. When she does the test right, so she will execute these two statements because uh, the labors are not eating. Okay, and then 
uh, white labor is hungry. And so she was set uh, state free to eating and give a signal. So in this case, uh, the semaphore of S3 becomes 1. And P and P3 is a weaken. So the, she would decrement that to 0 and proceed to it. Now let's consider uh, the implementation of uh, this problem, uh, this solution. Uh, so we define the left uh, to be i minus 1, mode 5, right to be i plus 1, uh, mode 5. The states hungry 0, eating 1, thinking 2. And SDLCM, so this defines uh, an array of semaphores as 5. And a global variable quit, it starts with force. When this is changed to a true, then the program is done. And we declare a mutex, a binary semaphore. And the array state to hold the states of the philosophers. And see the thing and it are simulated by an SDL delay. The so thing is to just think for a random amount of time between 0 and 3000 milliseconds or 0 and 3 seconds. It is uh, 0 and 2000 milliseconds. Now let's start from the main. Uh, here's the main uh, entry. So these few statements are for signal. So uh, we can interrupt the program by typing control C and uh, the interrupt handler check count will be invoked. Check count basically it will print out the information. Okay. Or if uh, we typed the quit interrupt signal there's control slash then the check count will set quit to be true. And here we create a view text and uh, we have five threads uh, representing the philosophers with the names 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And also another thread info t representing information thread that will display the information of the philosopher's states from time to time. And so we create uh, five semaphores uh, in the array SI with initial value 0. And then we create uh, five threads. And the function for this is philosopher. And the information thread, the uh, function is info. And the main function will wait for all the uh, children. And when the, the children return, when they are done, then uh, the main thread will continue to destroy the semaphore and uh, destroy the mutex to release the memory before it exits. Now here's the philosopher. So this is the same as we just discussed. So we pass in the name of uh, the philosopher from data. And while not quit, the thing pick up it put down okay, as discussed. 
and the print info is to print out information of the philosopher state. So we checked how many philosophers are eating. If the philosopher eating received information in the array A, and then uh, print out the information number of philosophers eating and uh, who is eating. So this is the info thread. So wanna quit it delay one second and then print info. That means uh, it prints out the information every one second. But the check count is for the in interrupt. Uh, when we type Control C, then it prints out information. Or when we typed Control uh, Slash, then uh, this information is printed and all the semaphores will be unlocked and quit is set to true. So that means the philosophers will exit, will return. So while I quit, when quit is true, then uh, this is done. Uh, uh, now the log mutate here is the same as weight that we discussed before and uh, unlock is signal okay. and same weight is weight okay. and the same post is signal so this is basically a strict implementation of the algorithm we just discussed. So now we can compile this. G++ plus plus minus O die for die for the CPP minus L SPL minus L P fret. So it compiles and now we can execute this die for so the five threads are created and you can see that the number of philosophers eating could be uh, two, one or zero and uh, you can also see that no two adjacent uh, at philosophers uh, could eat at the same time so you won't have uh, zero, four or one two or two three or three four okay. but you can have zero three one four and so on you can also print out information by typing control c okay, at any time and at the end if you want to quit you can type control slash okay, so all the resources are released and uh, the program returns. Okay. So you can experiment with this program and see how it works. Thank you. Bye-bye.